Russia has begun making copies of attack drones it acquired from Iran last year and is using them in combat against Ukrainian forces, despite sanctions imposed to cripple the country's weapons production, according to a report issued Thursday by a weapons research group. The researchers traveled to Kyiv in late July and inspected the wreckage of two attack drones that were used in combat in southeastern Ukraine. Both appeared to be Iranian shot 136s, but they contained electronic modules that match components previously recovered from Russian surveillance drones, according to the report. Additionally, the materials used to build the two drones and the internal structure of their fuselages differed greatly from those known to have been made in Iran, the researchers said. The investigation was conducted by Conflict Armament Research, an independent group based in Britain that identifies and tracks weapons and ammunition used in wars. It is the group's 10th published account of its work in Kyiv, where researchers have analyzed Russian military hardware collected on the battlefield by Ukraine's security services. Uncrewed aerial vehicles have been used by both combatants in the war. Some are reusable and designed for surveillance missions, built like small airplanes. Others are commercially available quacopters that can spy on enemy troops or attack them by dropping small grenades from above. The Shad, however, and others like it are so-called one-way attack drones or kamikaze drones, small propeller-driven aircraft that do not need a runway to launch and explode on impact. In September Russia began using Iranian-made Shad drones to attack deep inside Ukraine. They are believed to carry about 80 pounds of explosives and have a range of about 600 miles. This new version will allow Russia to sustain its attack patterns and its reliance on these one-way drones, said Damien Spleters, who led the group's investigation. So the fact that they make it domestically will allow them to continue to rely on it. Weapons experts say the Shad and the Russian-produced version both use satellite navigation signals to fly to program target locations. The Biden administration imposed sweeping sanctions against Russia immediately after its full-scale invasion of Ukraine in February 2022 that were intended to cut off Moscow's access to foreign-made electronic devices like semiconductors, computers, lasers and telecommunications equipment. Those measures have not stopped Russia from acquiring many of those items from the global market and using them in advanced weapons. Our findings also raise questions about export control and counter-diversion measures, as we see a lot of the components we found are made after February 2022," Mr. Splitters said. So if they can keep on getting them, there's an issue, obviously. The shot is one of at least three models of armed drones that Iran has supplied to Russia since September. In November, the researchers found that most of the semiconductors and other electronics in these weapons came from companies headquartered in Western nations, including the United States. The Russian-made versions of the Shad 136 are commonly marked as Jiren 2 or Geranium 2 in Russian. Photos of them appeared in Ukrainian news outlets in July, and the Long War Journal, a publication of the Foundation for Defense of Democracies, also recently wrote about them.
and while Iranian Shad 136 drones marked Jiren 2 have previously been recovered in Ukraine, the evidence presented in the report indicates that Russian made copies with the same name are now in use. The fuselage of the Iranian drones the researchers inspected was constructed with a lightweight honeycomb type of material, but the Russian Jirans were made with fiberglass over layers of woven carbon fiber, according to the report. The guidance sections of both Jirans recovered in July contained electronic modules called Kometa Russian for Comet that the researchers previously found in Russian drones that were recovered on the battlefield. By using Kometa guidance systems, the Russians have simplified the internal electronics needed to fly and guide the drones.